everyone today is Tuesday around 9 p.m. New York time on April 26 guys uh, we are getting close uh, for those who listen or attend the seminar on Sunday we present the scenarios that we knew that the Europe is gonna that the, I'm sorry that the US dollar is gonna test around 73 40 areas right now the, the, the index is very close to the area and we would like to see because we are expecting a bounce on the US on the US dollar index from that area. Uh, I'm gonna be as honest um as straight as I can. If we see this area if this area around 7340, 7350, 20 do not create a bounce that is gonna reverse of this, then the US dollar is gonna be in the long way down guys be honest with you I still believe that the count is correct and that count should end pretty pretty soon around this area and consequently we, all we have to, all we need to do in order to take uh, position in favor of the US dollar is five ways guys but I want to be clear if you guys have any position that is running against the dollar I'm sorry in against the door against the dollar be aware of that do not hold or take profit because that position can be reversed uh, if you guys were on the seminars on on Sunday take note guys at all the levels that we mentioned on the the levels that we mentioned on the US dollar and every pair because we getting close to those levels guys and from there the from there we can see like this can be a huge reverse we are not calling it a top we are not calling a bottom we're never gonna do that that's not our way of trading but we have to let you know guys that we're very close to significant levels in the trade in the forest trading okay so this is the US dollar in the daily very close to here if we see look the US dollar in an hour is providing new lows with a huge divergency so this level at any moment look even in the four hour this this can be this can be reversed and a bound should happen from around this area now now let's go to the individual pairs let's start with the euro swings the euro swings as everyone know we are in the long side of the trade and the euro swings it did this this was guys if you get back uh, or, or on Sunday I mean this is the original counts that we have it three ways and then we fell in love I mean this was our, our alternative we fell in love a little bit with the idea of the triangle because uh, it looks like today that we were in the triangle but well at the end it, it's gonna prove us right at the end is gonna prove that the market it did a three-way this is a three-way move when we see it, a b c w s a b c y now this overlapping here is the confirmation that this pair is gonna go to that this pair it should go to at least at least 29 at least 130 that's that's our I mean it dropped a little bit because of the idea that it got a little bit on the on the, on the B way so now this pair should start trading higher I don't see a reason why no this pair should start trading higher and we should be able to take profit in this trade we are planning to move the stop a little bit higher to say some piff because if this don't coming back believe me it's gonna stop at ours all right so now let's move on to the euro this is the euro if you remember we were targeting the 147.97 as our target in the euro dollar and it looks like it, we will get there uh, maybe later on tonight that's what I believe guys those levels that we're getting close those are levels that we we waiting for those levels for a long time 
and those levels you guys need to be careful guys because if this gonna happen if a reverse is gonna happen can happen for any of those levels so if I was you guys I, and you have a short dollar position I would take profit and I, I, I move the stop as tight as you can now this is the euro against the Swedish the dollar against the Swedish franc this is on the daily and from here I can see three ways three ways three ways three ways and almost three ways and look it bounced today exactly around the area of the 61A of the proposal wave 3 in other words if you guys take the measure from here to here it ended at the 61A and that's could be guys to be honest with you that's could be it so again we don't say that it's gonna be a top of the bottom we say that we're getting close to significant levels that we're getting close to significant levels and we I mean that's very danger you guys need to be careful if you got short dollar position let's keep moving this is the pound the pound it hasn't moved that much but the pound you have to provide a minimum a new high about 165.99 we were saying 166.20 area so be aware because tonight can be the knife of the pound this is the index let's keep moving the dollar cat the euro cap I'm sorry also is getting very close to one of our target which is around 140.38 so be aware of that in a way of ABC W S A B C so we can be close to a significant resistance here that should possible ends this corrective move to the outside let's go with the Aussie silver and gold I won't touch it we know that silver and gold they are in a way four and they still have more to the outside let's look out for the Aussie and the New Zealand that they, they're pretty close also to our proposal tiger this is the New Zealand here we were calling from 8127 right here for, uh, for the last two weeks and it looks like we're gonna get there later on today so if you see guys I mean anything can happen I don't say but like I say if you holding a short do dollar position be careful tomorrow is the big news around noon and that can be that can be it all, all it takes is something that interest rate something to reverse all this market around be careful guys with a short dollar position guys this is the Aussie we likes the 109.31 we're getting close there too as you see if you measure from here to here I said the three and you got one two three four five so I would say guys we'll be calling for the 73 20 40 area for a while as a possible bounce in the dollar uh, all the all the pairs are showing structures that it looks like that we get getting there it looks like they're getting there now let's see the euro index the euro index this right here we we're gonna present an alternative count right here let me take this one second if this meant to be the last leg that remember right here the dollar pro provide a new low and that in the euro now it can be one two three and then a flat wave four and then from here we see one two three four five one a two and the three and then one more high that is gonna take 
the index to about this area right here and finally that's gonna be possible the end of the cycle that's what we say that we are getting close we still believe that the euro as a euro group we have more to the outside we still like we still like the the euro pound higher to around 91 we like the euro switch to around 130 131 area we like the euro dollar to around 147 50 148 area so be aware of that guys but remember if you are if you have good profit try to type the stop to the invalidation points if but do not start now I don't we don't recommend nobody to start short dollar position at this level so let's leave it there and get back to you guys later. Thank you.